Yeah, this video is going to be showing you how to use the Alien Respawn USB that I've showed you guys how to set up in a previous video. So please do check out my other video if you don't know how to create this USB. And that video shows you step by step how to create it. Now what this USB allow you to do is recover your computer back to the factory conditions that you received it in. You can also use this same USB to copy those settings onto a completely new hard drive. For instance, I created a copy from a normal hard drive and then I used this USB to recreate that image on a solid state drive. So what you want to do is insert the Alien Respawn USB into the drive and then power on your laptop. You'll see once the BIOS loads, Respawn begins and you'll end up at this screen. Now it gives you two options. The one that you want to choose is Restore My Computer and just press Next. So here you'll find a full list of backup images on the USB. All you have to do is just make a selection, click and that's it, just click next. You'll then receive a prompt telling you that your hard drive is going to be reformatted. Since I'm using a new hard drive for this video, it makes no difference. Just click yes and continue. Da -da 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 -da. See this next bit, it takes about 20 to 30 minutes. And then once it's complete, just press restart and your new hard drive will boot to the same settings as the one that you copied it from. It doesn't matter if you're using a normal hard drive or solid state drive. In fact, that's exactly what I've done here. I copied from a 500 gigabyte hard drive to a 120 gigabyte solid state drive. It makes no difference. So you can see here, Windows then begins to load as if it's the first time you've ever used it. For those that are a bit unfamiliar with this, it's just things like setting your location, time and keyboard. You click next, then you have to give yourself a username and your computer and ID. And you can also set a password. Since I don't watch any porn, I don't need a password on my computer. So I'll just click next and then accept the Windows license terms. Screen after this allows you to choose your Windows update settings. I'm going to sort that out later. And then you have to set your actual time zone. Once you've done that, just click next and it might ask you to choose your wireless network. I'm just going to skip all this, I'll do it later. And then Windows restarts. And after a while you'll come to this screen asking you to choose your Dell update options. That all seems a bit long to me so I'm just going to deselect that and click finish. And there you have it. I've just set up this computer on the same settings as when I received it using a brand new hard drive. For those people that I use this video to set up a solid state drive on this machine, you can check out my previous video showing you how to install the hard drive into your computer or my next video which is going to be about flashing the BIOS because some of the Alienware BIOSes cap the transfer speeds of your hard drive. For instance, this hard drive that I've put in here is a SATA 3 and it won't be running at SATA 3 speeds just yet. So check those out and just let me know what you think. Okay, bye. <laughs>